The future of search is really getting defined by generative AI. Just look at this project Agent Search, which is primarily a data set that includes over 1 billion embeddings sourced from over 50 million high quality documents. Or in other words, this project, which is called as Agent Search, includes a lot of search results in numerical format within its own repository in this data set. So you don't have to search Google or you don't have to buy any API from Bing or any other search engine. All you can do just get a large language model, get Llama index and then load this data set and do your search. Now I believe that if you combine this agent search with your own custom data set, you can have a full blown search engine at your hand. You can put it um, offline within your own organization or you can even host it online and then um, you can do your own search results. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use it to create your own quick search engine and you'll be amazed at how easy and quick it is if we use the agent search loader from Llama Index Llama Hub. So let's get started. I'll be using my Ubuntu instance for this. So let me log into my Ubuntu instance and take you there. So this is my Ubuntu instance and I'm using Ubuntu 22.4. First, let's install or upgrade Llama Index because that is what we are going to use in order to use this data set from Hugging Face. So Llama Index has just included this loader for agent set, so it's always a good idea to get it updated. I have updated it, that is cool. Okay, one more thing which we need is to set the API key for sci-fi and the good news is that this API key is free. So and it enables you to do the searches through API. It's as simple as that. So all you need to do is to go to sci-fi's website and I'll drop the link in video description. It is just sci-fi.ai and let me take you there. So this is the sci-fi's website. So go there, sign up with your free email account and then log in there. And you get around, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, 15,000 per month searches for free, which is quite a lot. And even you, if you pay them a minimal amount, you can do a lot of searches if your uh, use case is quite extensive. So once you have your API key, then go back to your terminal and then set this API key in the environment variable. And let me do that. So after grabbing your API key from sci-fi, then go to your terminal and from your terminal just export that as an environment variable. I already have set it, so I'm just not going to do it again. Let me fire up my Python interpreter. And now let's import the download loader from Llama Index because we already have installed it. You can ignore this warning for now. You might not get it because um, this is just due to my numpy version. Okay, so in the next one, let's use our download loader so, and we are specifying download loader as agent search and if you go to llama hub you might see there are a lot of other types of loader a real good rich repository but we are focusing on our agent search loader so let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long almost done Okay, so you can see that it has successfully uh, installed it and now let's load our agent search or instantiate it in other words that is done and that is all we needed to do and now let's do some searches so what we are doing here is we are just loading our data from the reader and the data set is already there on hugging face and we are just calling it anything like let me ask it latest financial news and then enclose it maybe also put it here and then let's only grab the first result otherwise it is going to give us a lot of results let's wait for it to bring the first result for the financial news that's done now let's print it and there you go. 
so if I go up you can see it has just given us this and then we can simply go and then also we can even grab this one from here so it says detailed of the fancy and fraud report and then the whole details from there and you can do some JSON um, magic here in order to get it displayed you can even just grab your document ID or whatever you want to do so you can see that how easy it is to grab anything with the help of this agent search uh, because it already has all this data from the web embedded in it and I'm more than sure that they are going to keep it updated and as I said earlier this seems to be the future of a search to me because these sort of things you can just create multiple agents so one agent might just grab the text you search it bring in the relevant stuff and then you can display it to the user or maybe just integrate integrate it with any of other, your other application so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you are stuck having any issues let me know and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you